A few weeks ago, Apple previewed a new feature in macOS Ventura, Stage Manager. With Stage Manager, you can focus on the app you're using without the distractions. Once the feature is enabled, the application we're currently on takes center stage and all other windows move to the side. It's basically a new way to organize windows and clutter. My initial impression when I first saw the demo wasn't so positive. It's a nice idea, but I find the execution lacking. And now that I've tested the feature extensively, I'm afraid that my opinion hasn't changed that much. Stage Manager is a bit of a mess. Let's talk about it. While I'm not a big fan of Stage Manager and its current implementation, it's worth mentioning that it's a feature still in development. We're not even out of beta yet, and as we've seen with other features in the past, a lot of things could change until final release. My main concern with uh, Stage Manager is that it doesn't have anything new to offer. macOS already has tools to help with window and application management, and they're all really good. The problem with macOS's window management is that not all users are aware of the tools. And that's why I think Apple is focusing on the wrong thing here. Instead of communicating the already available toolset, it's introducing a new window management system that doesn't move the needle forward. But instead of me telling you, let me show you why I'm not a fan of Stage Manager. The first issue has to do with the fact that we end up doing a lot more window management than before. Let's take as an example a really simple scenario like opening multiple documents in Photoshop. The moment we load up another document, the previous one vanishes. And Photoshop is an application that usually needs to have multiple documents open because we might be grabbing some elements from one image and pasting them to another, and so on and so forth. The Stage Manager certainly doesn't prohibit us to have multiple documents on the screen, but in order for us to get there, we need to do a lot of manual work. We have to drag every single image onto that one space. And I know what you're thinking. Stage Manager is not meant for this type of work. You just found that one scenario where things don't work that well. So let's take another scenario, like having two browser windows side by side. A really typical thing when doing research. The moment we introduce a new window, the previous one will disappear. So once more, we have to manually drag the window and add it to the space. It's a lot of unnecessary steps. And of course, the same applies with multiple word processing documents, a scenario that Apple did highlight on a demo, but they did so in the most unrealistic way. When I click, I get the top one. And if I want a different window, I can cycle through them just by clicking. It's really convenient. Usually when I'm writing a paper, I have multiple documents open and I want to have them side by side. I could be taking notes on one, copying and pasting from another one, and so on and so forth. So even in this simple scenario, Stage Manager fails. And it gets even more tedious when we have to combine different windows from different applications. This is a super common scenario, at least for some users. Let's say we're working on a project that utilizes both Photoshop and Illustrator. Here's our Illustrator document open, and here's the Photoshop one. So far, so good. Now let's edit an image in Photoshop. In order to find the file, I'm gonna go to the Finder and go to the Projects directory. But since the Finder and Photoshop windows are separated, we need to bring in the Finder window next to Photoshop. So we need to switch back to Photoshop and then move the Finder window to that space. As you can see, there are so many steps to take for such a simple task, but it gets even worse. Let's now switch to Illustrator to bring in that same photo. Of course, since the Finder window is merged with Photoshop, we have to repeat the same process. Trying to grab the Finder window from the Photoshop space and into Illustrator is not possible, but even if it was, it's again a really messy way of doing things. So now we have to go to the Projects location, switch to Illustrator, and now move the Finder window in Illustrator space. Not only did we waste an insane amount of time doing simple tasks, but now we also have two Finder windows with the exact same location, one for Photoshop and one for Illustrator. In the regular non-stage manager workflow, we can just switch to the other app and the Finder window is right there. No need for extra windows or any extra window management. 
Of course, I could have done things differently. I could have used the open command in Photoshop and Illustrator, but there should be multiple ways of doing the same thing. And this is not an uncommon scenario. People do use folder windows to drag documents into apps. And that's the weird thing with Stage Manager. It's a tool that forces us to work in a very specific way. Instead of the feature trying to conform to the way we work, it's the other way around. I get the impression that Stage Manager was built with a very limited target audience in mind. People who just have one spreadsheet and maybe one Word document open. In these occasions, I can see Stage Manager working quite fine. But if you remember, that's not the issue Apple was trying to address. They were trying to fix workflows where multiple windows from multiple applications are open. And this is exactly the scenario where Stage Manager fails. When working on a design project, for example, we might have multiple applications open. Photoshop, Illustrator, Cinema 4D, font management tools, and a gazillion other utility apps like Safari, Mail, Skype, Slack, etc. Trying to use Stage Manager in this scenario is what nightmares are made of. Not only the window management is impossible to deal with, but having these constant animations of applications moving in and out of focus is something that can drive you insane. On top of that, the fact that there are just six spots we can work with, seven if we count the currently active app, further solidifies the fact that Stage Manager is built for really light tasks. If there are more apps open and not visible in these seven spots, they just won't appear anywhere in the Stage Manager. We have to use the regular Command Tab shortcut to cycle between them. Another tedious side effect of Stage Manager is having to resize application windows. Because the space on the left is reserved for the Stage Manager interface, application windows will not take up the full screen. For example, if we open up Cinema, only part of the screen will be populated by the app. So now we have to go through this extra step of resizing the window. The same applies for ZBrush or any app that will try to use the full width of the screen. The good news is that the screen space doesn't go to waste. When a window takes up the full width of the screen, the app switcher will vanish. And we can easily bring it back by hovering over the left side of the screen. Another good thing is the fact that we can customize the stage manager a tiny bit. So if we want to always have the desktop items visible, we can do so by enabling that option in system preferences. But that's about it. <laughs> These are the only good things I can say about Stage Manager. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of it. It's just trying to fix a problem that was already solved with existing macOS workflows. I think Apple just needs to make new users aware of all the existing concepts for managing apps and windows instead of introducing yet one more new solution. So at this point, I think it would be a good idea to highlight the existing ways we can work with multiple windows and applications open. I'm gonna start with two of the easiest commands, hide app and hide others. Let's say we have a ton of open windows and applications open and we want to concentrate on our text document. We can just press the hide others shortcut and now the screen is completely clean and ready for us to concentrate on our document. And if we want to open up a new file, we can just switch to the finder and all the finder windows will pop up. If we want to then go back to the previous state where all applications are visible, we can just click on the show all command and we're good to go. We can even add a shortcut to that command so next time we want to use it, we don't have to go through the menu. Another way to deal with clutter is by hiding individual apps. So let's say we have three apps open and we just want to get cinema out of the way. We can switch to cinema, hide it with a keyboard shortcut, and now our other two apps are unobstructed. Simple as that. I think if more of the new users took advantage of these three commands, features like the stage manager would not be needed. Another useful thing when trying to manage window clutter is hiding individual windows. Let's take as an example this situation. We have three emails open, and we also have the email app in the background, but we only need these two visible. We can just double click on the top of the windows we want to minimize, and now we're left with the two windows we want. This behavior needs to be set up in the preferences, but it doesn't take long to do. It's just an option in the docs preferences. And then we have some extra little features like expose and spaces. Finding the right app or window, for example, is just a matter of hitting the control key and the up arrow. 
In case a window is small, we can even preview it by holding down the space key. And that's it! With spaces, we can isolate an app on its own workspace so nothing else gets in the way. Let's say, for example, that we want to concentrate on Notion. By dragging up, then moving it to a new screen, we can put it in its own environment. And now, with Ctrl and the right or left arrow keys, we can move between spaces. There are also a couple more small behaviors. Clicking on the plus icon, for example, while having the app selected will create a new screen while adding it to a new desktop on its own will take Notion into a new full screen mode. As you can see, there's a lot of different ways we can deal with clutter in macOS. And that's the reason I'm so critical about Stage Manager. It doesn't really have anything more to add. Instead, it just makes things more confusing. It's nice that there's one more alternative way of doing things, but there's nothing really of substance here. But I don't want to be overly negative about the feature. I'm sure some people will find it useful, and it's also worth noting that Stage Manager is still in development, so I'm sure things will improve as we move closer to final release. But what do you think? Is this something you would use in your day-to-day -day work? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.